Hi. So this video is all about how you use QR codes to present them to your users during the event so that the users can download uh, their videos and their photos directly onto their phone using the QR code. So it's going to make use of Rightboot's dynamic QR code feature. Now before I go into the details on how I've done all this, I'm just going to run this event and show you how it works. So it's a simple single photo capture event. So let's do it. Get ready screen. Countdown. Now, this is a complicated screen to look at. I've actually got a second webcam feed here showing you uh, the screen itself. Um, but as you can see, I've got my photo on there and I've got a QR code, which Rightbooth has generated automatically. So I'm going to use my phone to scan the barcode. So here we go. I've got a Samsung here. I'm going to run this barcode scanner app, which I just got off the uh, Play Store. I'm going to get the barcode scanned. And as you can see, it's captured a link. Let me just touch that. And it's downloaded my photo onto my phone off the internet. So basically, in this event, I've instructed Rightbooth to upload the photos taken during the event to a website via FTP. So I'm going to show you how I've set all this up. So the first thing you have to do is to get yourself a web domain and get it hosted on the internet. Now, I'm not going to explain how to do that in this video. There's lots and lots of tutorials out there that explain that. So I've been using my own web domain, which is airvalleysoftware.com. And with the hosting package, um, I get storage space uh, up to about, I think it's about 40 gigabytes. I can't remember now, but it's plenty of storage space. And also I can uh, send files to it via FTP. So you have to make sure that whoever hosts your web domain allows you to uplo upload files using FTP or secure FTP, which is SFTP. So once you've got yourself a web domain, and you've got it hosted but, uh, on the internet, uh, you then set up FTP uh, in Rightbooth settings. So let's take a look at that. We go into settings, social media, FTP. And in here, you enter all the details of your FTP account with your web domain. Now you'll get all that information from the web domain provider. So it will be in their documentation. So you need to enter the host, you need to enter the root folder, and that's usually your web domain name. As you can see here, I've got airvalleysoftware.com forward slash. Uh, you then enter your username and password for your uh, account onto the web domain. Uh, you set up the port number of 221 if you're using SFTP, and I recommend you use SFTP because it's secure. And you also have to turn on this setting, which means that Rightboot will make use of the FTP uploading during the event. Once you have all this set, uh, Rightboot is then ready and able to upload files to your um, web domain during the actual event itself. Okay, the next thing you need to do is to instruct Rightbooth to upload the files via FTP to your web domain. So let's show you how I've done that in this particular event. You go into design, go to event files and folders, and you tick this option, replace the file copy actions in Rightbooth folder settings with event specific file copy actions. Now, all that really means is that you are going to be adding particular file copy actions in this event only. So you're overriding any that you may have put into, into settings generally. And I'm going to add an FTP file copy action. Let's do that. It's asking me for the FTP folder. Now, if I leave this blank, Rightbooth will simply use the FTP folder from settings, which we looked at earlier. So it will actually upload to airvalleysoftware.com and it will place all of the photos into the root folder. Now, I don't really want to do that. I think what I want to do is I want to create a subfolder 
to upload my photos to for this particular event. So I'm going to call that event 050921, in other words, the 5th of September 21. Click OK. Now, as you can see, what's happened is that Rightbooth has put in FTP colon and then the name of the subfolder. So what that means is that Rightbooth will upload whatever I choose on here to www.airvalleysoftware.com forward slash event 050921. And if that folder doesn't exist, Rightbooth will automatically create it. So essentially, every time you create a new event, you can actually just specify a new folder for the files to be uploaded to. And in this case, I'm just uploading photos because this event is a photo capture event. If this event was a video recording event, then you could obviously tick that as well. And if it was both photos and videos, you've got them both here. So essentially now I'm ready for the event to upload files to this folder on my web domain. So the final thing you have to do is to add a QR code on the show photo screen. Now it doesn't have to be the show photo screen, but it has to be a screen that appears to the user after their photo has been taken. So let's go into the editor. And here we've got a very simple event, start, get ready, countdown, take photo, show photo. Now, obviously this one is not necessary. This is just another webcam feed, as I said, that's letting you look at the screen as I'm uh, using my phone. But this is the important item, this QR code. Now I'm going to delete it and re-add it so you can see what I do. So let me just delete that. So what you need to do on your show photo screen is to add a QR code. Now, what you have to do in the text box is to enter the URL of the folder on your web domain. Now, for me, it's, it's got to be the full URL. So I'm gonna start with HTTPS colon, double forward slash, www. And remember, in my example, I'm using Air Valley Software dot com and from my file copy section i was putting the files into a subfolder which was event 050921 and i'm going to put a forward slash on the end there now the final thing that you have to do is to specify what type of qr code this is and it is a text plus photo one code that means that when photo one has been taken, the QR code that's generated will be this path plus the file name of photo one, which is generated dynamically as Rightbooth is playing the event. Click OK there. And as you can see, it's generated a QR code now at the moment, this QR code does not have the photo one file name appended to it, but when it, when Rightbooth plays the event and it gets to this screen, it will actually generate a QR code, which is this plus the name of photo one. So it will be slightly different to this uh, QR code here. So just to show that this is showing a partial QR code, let me just scan that. And you can see there that it's just showing the, the actual path without a file name on it. But obviously when we play the event, this will be appended with the name of the photo that's been uploaded into event 050921. Now, what if you don't want to involve the internet in all this? Well, it is possible and uh, there's a lot of activity going on right now on the Rightbooth forum to find out the best way to do this. The general process is that you set up your PC that's running Rightbooth as a web server. Then you use a router which uh, you connect to and the router has port forwarding enabled. And the idea is that you're setting up a local 
Wi-Fi network um, with your PC acting as the web server. So what I've shown you so far in this tutorial effectively is exactly the same apart from the fact that there's no FTP uploading going on. So that Writebooth will literally just copy the files into a folder on the PC that is publicly available via the web server through the router so that users can scan QR codes and get the files directly off the PC that's connected to the router. Uh, it sounds complicated, it isn't that complicated. Um, as soon as we get the full information on this, I will create another tutorial that explains how to do it. Okay, thanks for watching.